Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having an awesome day. I am Cassie, and welcome back to Dreamlight Valley. Uh, let's see. I have to apologize. I'm so tired. It was a big day yesterday for a game that I love and a lot of my friends love called The Universe Sim. I play it on this channel, and a couple of my friends play it, so um, if you're looking for Twitch streamers or YouTubers who play the Universe Sim, I would recommend Sentient One and Strange Brew Games. They're they're good, good people. Um, so my dog just peeked in and peeked right back out, and it distracted me. So here we are in Dreamlight Dreamlight Valley, and I am looking for someone I can level up. I can grab Eve. I don't know why I went around. I think I forgot where I was. And we can level Eve up. Part of the reason I mentioned... I hate when she does that. She's just gonna come right back down in the same spot? Nope. Maybe? Part of the mention... Uh, part of the reason I mentioned the universe sim is that... I will be playing that game more often for a little while than this game. Since there is, it's like when the star path dropped and I switched to playing this game a lot more often than that one, I'm kind of just doing the inverse of that, where that game's got a big update, so I'm playing that for a while. I'm playing this, I'm still playing this, I'm just playing it a little less often. It's always worth having daily discussions with your the people you're trying to level up because it really boosts their experience. Gaston is here to harass me about Scramble Coin. Oh good, he wandered away. That's a little surprising. Normally they don't. And we're just tidying up, I guess, a little bit. I What you can do to level characters up, um, aside from giving in, uh, talk, having their daily discussions with them, I'm a mess today, is give them their favorite gifts. You can give them, you can basically offload stuff onto them that isn't their favorite gifts, but like if I have a ton of flowers and I don't need those flowers, I can give them to Eve and they'll boost her experience quite a lot she want today? Sunflower, citrine, and something. Yeah. Okay. stalls on Eternity Isle do not seem to sell produce. They, they seem to only sell seeds. I'm gonna double down. Not double down. That means something wholly different. I'm gonna check in with this one. Yep, see? And I don't know what we grew here. Celery and turnips. But we may have some yams growing in the uh, glittering dunes. I also know we're getting very close to having a full stack of a lot of the things that I'm picking up here at the docks. I'm pretty sure we're very close on strawberries and we're very close- oh, we might be over on strawberries and we're very close on cumin. I wouldn't say, like, give Eve your spices, but... I don't know, it may not hurt. Oh, 
How was your day? Tell me all about how everything's going for you. Has it been a busy week? I know it's only Tuesday. So hopefully it has been calm and relaxing for you. But, you know, tell me how it's going. You are a sight for sore eyes. You crissed off you two. Okay, we've got yams in here. Yeah, why not? I don't know precisely what I should be putting where just yet, but we'll get there. I also want to make sure I'm doing some time bending. Eve is a time bending companion. I didn't mean to. They get in front of me. I don't mean to talk to them. Seems like it'd be good for Anna. It's raining. It's been raining for a couple days. I love the rain, so I'm really happy about that. I think I need to go in here. I put my plants back outside. It had been pretty cold. Um, we, like the rest of the states, were experiencing some pretty severe winter weather, so I brought my plants in. And I just took them back out again yesterday so that they could get a little fresh air and sunshine. I have some some outdoor plants that are not safe for all climates, and I don't know, you know, I don't know what compelled me to grow them here, but they're doing okay. I've got a couple lemon trees. I have a couple citron citronella plants. How's the weather been in your neck of the woods? Is it still super cold and snowy? Has it warmed up at all? Kinda wanna take this backpack off. I'm, I'm still feeling the rest of the look though. I think I might just really need a drink of my coffee. I think that's gonna help in a lot of ways. It'll wake me up. It'll help me clear my throat.
Where is the last one? Is it down the hill? Where'd it go? I'm not going to find it. That's okay. Oh, it was over there in the wall. That's a little... It's not better at all, actually. Yeah, it is. Okay. Everything that we pick up in the oasis, I also put into the same chest as the rest of the glittering dunes because there's nothing here. Like in the um, in the overlook, you get stuff that you don't get from the rest of the ancient's landing. So I tend to put that stuff in its own chest. But here in the glittering dunes, I haven't. Oops, that doesn't go there. I haven't yet found a biome or a suburb of the Glittering Dunes that has different stuff than the rest of the Glittering Dunes, so it's all going in one chest for now. I definitely do not need dates, so I'm going to sell those. And the other couple things that I'm hanging on to that I don't need, like garlic and the strawberries. Oops, pay attention. again. I wonder if the game is trying to so tell me something I need to know about dates, like, but discreetly. Like, here, let me load you up on these for no reason. Just, just play along. I also want to level up Gaston. Um, I've leveled up Rapunzel a couple times. I think she's like level 4, and we haven't yet gotten a quest from her, and I think maybe she has some dependencies on quests from even Gaston. I'm guessing. It's all speculation. I sneak. But I have nothing else. I have no other insights.
I hope my coffee starts waking me up soon because I've got a lot to do today. I have a full day of work and I've got to hit the gym on my lunch break. So I need to feel a lot more alert than I feel right now. I'm just going to give these birds a paradise to eat. I know I need them, but I'll have an opportunity to collect more. I think I'll need them, I should be clear. I don't need them right now. I don't have any quests that are requiring them. We'll need to get Eve to level 7, I think, before we have the next quest from her. Usually quests are at 2, 4, 7, and 10. I'm pretty sure this loot finder is supposed to be for Wally. I'm actually gonna... <laughs> gifts? I've never done any research into gifts, so I don't know, like... I don't know the experience gained from them. I don't know if people will turn them away if they're not intended for that person. I'm mending gifts, I need to say. I can't just say gifts. What do we have there? Handheld loot finder. Oh, that's for Vanellope. The ice cream stand is for Stitch. The fire extinguisher is for Wally. There's nothing in here for Eve. The, the blue potion is for Merlin, which we, we've given him one, but I think we also gave Ursula one just to test it out. Yeah, there's nothing in there for Eve. Poor Eve. Oh, and we also have Aloe that I didn't put away. So I guess we'll just level up Eve the old-fashioned way. Which is through time ending. Her core skill. And by giving her stuff I don't need. And her favorite gifts, if we can find them. Yeah, I normally go with flowers, because flowers are pretty much the easiest resource to come by. And I think we're done tidying here. Oh, I'm still just looking for... I'm bending. Um, so this was pointing us right down there, and we can't get into half of this. Like, we're not... There are things down here that block the road we can't break down yet. Oh, 
I don't know if we'll ever be able to break them down. I wonder if we can move them. Nope. So there's a chest back there that we may never be able to get to. to listen out better for Eve to put stuff down. Oh, nope. Sorry, girl. it when they throw down extra cores. That's pointing kind of downward. It's pointing very downward. Saying that there's another one in here. Can't get. Eventually. Now let's just... Was oh, that Jafar's castle? Yeah, I think it is. I'm pretty sure I saw him sleeping in there the other day. And I had never seen that before. Oh, I have a couple more flowers that I could give to Eve. I gotta tell you, it is so good to not have to work on the the star path today, um, like at all. This is, I think, the first time I haven't even I haven't even done one thing on the star path since the star path started, and the relief I'm feeling. You all had just the best reaction to my frustration, the, the frustration I was feeling about you know having to constantly be working on the star path and whether I was gonna get it done. You guys are so funny. And you're so charming, and like, you were cheering me on, and you were like, teasing me a little bit, and it was, it was all good fun, and so thank you for adding some levity to what was a really frustrating experience for me. Three pitcher plants right in a row. Two. There we go. I was like, I should be able to get that. To kind of counter my perspective on giving Eve flowers. Um, to raise her experience. I will also note that like she doesn't get any experience when I pick them up Like she's getting experience when I pick up fruit when I pick up spices break down uh, rock spots um, the Little swirling sands But if I'm just picking something up off the ground like wood or the cinnamon probably um, Or the flowers she will not gain any friendship experience from that so just something to keep in mind. It comes out in the wash, I guess. Good morning, Angel Fairy. 
Morning to you too, Ursula. I like Ursula. Um, I like that she calls us angelfish. I've defended her, per, my, my opinion of her as a villain before. I have no problem with Ursula. Okay, let's do some time bending. Time bending as a concept is very interesting to me because like essentially we're looking back in time and pulling an item that was once here out of the ether. Kind of neat. Oh, I didn't mean to press P, and now I'm like reliving some trauma. There we go. Behind this tree? What? Oh, there we That's for Remy. That is a cookbook. I just read about this. Okay, so we're gonna hit up the, um, not, what, geez, I've lost control. There we go. I need to swing down by a goofy stall and sell the, sell and put away the stuff that I've collected from this biome. And then I'm going to swing back by my house and clean up the stuff out of my bags that I've... Wow. Why did I miss all the swirling sands? All these swirling sands. God. Game. Okay. Um, swing back by the house, my home, and put away all of the time-bending stuff that we've collected, or a lot of it. Um, the... I don't have room in my bags for all the gifts, and that's fine. I'm gonna unload a bunch of stuff onto Eve as well, if I can. It's aloe. This is not aloe, it's bamboo. And then I guess just more of this. And I'm pretty sure I have some paprika hidden in my bags, too. That is a, that's a problem for another time. I don't care. I might want to... I've got another chest next to this chest. And I might want to take some stuff out of this, maybe the gifts, and put them in that other chest. I don't necessarily want two separate time bending chests, both outdoors. But until a time that I can create some bigger chests. The number of friendly residents in this valley is. I wonder if you can... No. I know you can't. My dog is gently snoring. It's really sweet. He's a very good boy. I was gonna say I wonder if you can hear it, but... No. It's 
so quiet. And my mic is really good about not picking up a lot of stuff. Okay. How much mist do we have? 15,000? That's not bad. We could open up a biome. We could upgrade our... Hourglass. We could do both of those things, in fact, I think. Let me take a look. Oh, nope. It's 10,000 to upgrade an hourglass. And I think we're to the point that we're through all of the 4,000 and 6,000 mist biomes, and I think we might only have 10,000 mist biomes left. I could be wrong about that, but... You know. Let's go ahead and... Let's just do that. Ugh. No. Thanks, Eve. No, oh, where? Okay. It seems like the mist spots are kind of respawning. But did we did we do the courtyard to begin with? I don't recall looking for mist here. Or for time bending here, I should say. Oh yes, now I do. I do recall, because we went all the way down that hallway. the game wants us to again. I will be calling it in just a couple minutes. I really want to get Eve to level 7 before I go, um, but then I'd have to quit before we started her level 7 quest anyway. Okay, so I knew that we would be able to craft a sword in the stone, but I, I think I didn't realize that we would also be getting unique crafting materials for it. This one's in this little hidey hole. flower. We're not even halfway through level six. We're not going to make it to seven today. I'm just going to assume that whatever one it's pointing me to, I can't reach. Actually, 
I'll give it a small try. Not a very big try. Seems to be upward by Ga um, Gaston's Jafar's palace. I assume that pathway will open up when we open up the next couple or er, the appropriate biome or suburb of the promenade this one yeah see it looks like you should be able to come up there come up there how much to open up the promenade only six thousand how much do i have eight thousand you go for it Hello. i thought we were through I'm all of the ones that were Four and six. I think he wants something. My dreams come true beneath the lights. Water gleams the best of nights. Was I wrong about him? Was mother right? No, but no. That would be a poem by Rapunzel about Flynn. I think I actually haven't seen it. I don't know. I don't know who her prince is. If it's not Flynn, let me know. having all the swirling sand just smushed right in together. Queen, tambourine, lean, green, seen, bean, mean, queen, clean, routine. Why is it so hard to rhyme with his name? This is silly. Is Flynn's last name Ryder? It would be much easier to rhyme. I like that she was brainstorming though. Okay, so we're really just tidying up so that we can get the lay of the land. Yes, we can. We can halfway get to Jafar's from here. This is filled in, so we have to go either through the cellar or around. So there must be more to his quest. 
that we haven't yet opened up for some reason. Okay. Never forget your imagination is a powerful magic. Thank you, Merlin. It's good feedback. What are we looking at? What is this? What are you? You're nothing? Okay. It looks pick up a ball, but I think I happened to mouse over some cinnamon as I was exploring it. Adventuring it. That's not a thing. Okay. This- oh, there's Mickey, so we might as well talk to him before we go, and then I think we'll call it for the day. Seems like a pretty good stopping point. Has he... Oh, okay, jeez. I thought he froze. Hey, cool. So Mickey wants flowers, and it is a good thing that we have been stockpiling flowers. We will take care of this in our next Dreamlight Valley video, but for now I wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me. I... I tell you all the time, and it's no less true now than it was when I first said it. I think you're amazing. I'm so grateful that you're here and lucky that you're here. I think you deserve all of the good things. And um, thank you for being here and thank you for supporting me and hanging out with me and making me feel good about myself. And oh, there's more. Well, there's just like a whole second half of this biome. Why are they so big? Stop it. Stop it, Cassie. You're getting distracted. It is time to go. We're saying goodbye to your friends. Thank you, friends, for being here and for hanging out with me, and I will talk to you very soon.